All right. Let's get this stream underway, shall we? Hopefully everything sounds good and looks good. Today we're going to be playing some Ninja Gaiden 1. And I don't mean Ninja Gaiden Black. I mean the original. We're going to be playing some of the Hurricane Pack. I've never tried it before. Who knows if I'm going to get to grips with the intercept move, but we're going to have some fun with it. So here we go. We just got to wait for it to connect and then I can access the mode. I had to set up the uh, Xbox Live preservation thing that Insignia did on my emulator to get online so that I could access this. But here we go, look. So this is the eternal mission or whatever it is from... I think it's in black. Uh, and then this is the Hurricane Pack 2. I believe this is essentially just hard mode. This is just a harder difficulty. You don't get the camera controls in this one, but this one you do. So let's do it. The reason that I'm playing this is purely because of the intercept move. Otherwise, I would just play black. But it's got me intrigued. If you block at the exact right time, and you can do it while blocking, you can hold down the block button and then quickly release and press it again, Ryu will interrupt the enemy, and then you can just do a move Instantly. You can even charge a UT instantly. Although you have there has to be essence around for it, but it seems really awesome. Azure Mobius says, I'm attempting very hard mode in Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I will say this much. I'll take the slippy slide fiends over the cat fiends and the zombie archers any day. I can mostly handle the sliding fiends, no problem. Any advice? I'm at the tail end. Chapter 9. Remind me which one that is again. Like, where is it? What location is that again? So here we are, look. Ninja Gaiden 1, the original. As you can see, the camera controls, right? We don't have camera controls. You never did. But with the Hurricane Pack, you do. Just like Black. And you can charge UTs whenever you want. It's awesome. Under the monastery before fighting Alma. Oh, that's right. So you want advice for the cats, is what you're saying. They're giving you trouble. And the those archer... I mean, the downside is you want to focus on those archer things first. You want to... You want to go for those, stop them shooting at you, or get around a corner so that they can't go for you. The, yeah, the cats and the fire ninjas. I mean, you kind of want to spam drops. You, If you can, do this move a lot. Like, that move, that's gonna... That's gonna do it. Like, that's gonna be one of the moves. It's, I'll be honest, it's been a long time since I've done... been in that particular fight. You throw me in that situation, I might be able to... Just... My memory will kick in, but... I'll be honest, it's kinda hard for me to advise you in that fight. I haven't done... Done anything like that in a while. I know when I did the, the thing on Sigma, the mission, you do fight some cats in that. You wanna do a lot of drops. So with the hurricane pack here, I'm pretty sure this is this is not normal mode. I believe this is a harder difficulty. And you'll see cuz you fight the ninjas garbed in white with the extra stuff. And as you can see here because it's the hurricane pack, these Ayane tips here tell you what to do with the extra stuff. So now we can actually control the camera. And they're telling you that. Let me know in the chat, how's the sound? Is it too loud? Like, am I... Can you hear me over the game just fine? Because I had to turn the Xbox emulator down because it's pretty... pretty loud. So, 
What did I just pick up? I picked up... Where is it? Intercept. Technique scroll. The technique lets you exchange an action immediately after blocking an attack. It's an advanced technique that, if executed successfully, will increase your karma score. While the enemy is attacking, use split-second reflexes to block and guard yourself. If successful, immediately execute your next action when the lightning flashing is flashing. Blocking with the intercept method is very effective against strong attacks. Also, when the intercept method is used with Y, the ultimate technique will be unleashed instantly. This is so cool. So, if there's essence around, you can block at just the right time and then immediately do a UT. It's amazing. Let's see if I can do it. I'll try and do it. No, come on. Yeah, you see there? That, that flashing means that I interrupt what they're doing. And... You can do a whole... I'm not very good with it yet, because I've only just got my hands on this. But... Apparently, you can use the intercept as you land to cancel an enemy's grab. Which, you know, that, uh, that always pissed me off, so let's... <laughs> I wonder if I can utilize it. What I have to try and do here is not try to spam intercept, though. Because I'm excited about this new thing that I've never used before. And... You know, I feel obliged to try and get good with it, and so I want to use it all the time, but it may bite me in the ass because it might get me killed. So I'm going to try and play normally, but I will try to integrate the intercept as I get better with it. Well, I did use it there. We don't have counters in Chapter 1 yet, so... Right, let's see if I can use it against this guy here. And we'll do it with a UT. Yeah! Mm, that's so cool, man! <laughs> oh. Buff says, Have you ever played NG04 before this? I mean, the non-black version. That's what this is. That is what this is. This is Ninja Gaiden, the original. But I'm playing it with the Hurricane Pack. So we have the intercept move and we have the camera controls and stuff. We basically have some of the enhancements from Black in this. And it's awesome. I gotta get my mind back into the defensive playset as well because, you know, I'm... I don't want to be super on the attack here because no, I'm just gonna get myself... killed. Probably gonna die in a second here. Oh, <laughs> I really thought he was going to fall down. Yeah, oh, thanks for the blue, bud. Getting my butt kicked here because I'm bad. And hopefully the stream goes nice and smooth because, you know, it's... The Xbox emulator does require a bit of horsepower to run it. Especially because I think I'm running it at 2 or 3x resolution. Ooh, I want that blue. I just want it. No, get the blue, Ryu! So we might get some slowdowns here or there. Any lag on XMU? Yeah, we do get a little bit of lag, like when I do some charges and stuff. Yeah, you get... You may get some slowdown. It, it, it happens sometimes and then it doesn't happen. It's... But we'll see. We'll see. Ah, oh, come on. Do the intercept, Ryu. I'm not very good with it. Ah, I'm really not good with it. Come on. I don't care if I die here. I'm just kind of trying to practice and get back into the swing of things here. Oh, I want the... No, I'm dead. Yeah, okay. I gotta... I really gotta... My brain just wants to try the intercept move, and I'm going to get myself killed doing that. So, let's go back into it. Once I get to the first save point, it'll be fine.
We'll fight you guys in a minute. Just gonna go grab that scroll real fast. Thank you. Ah, I tried to go for it there. Maybe there's, maybe there's like a... What's the way, what's the word? Uh, there's a way you're supposed to do it, or there's a way that you can do it better than what I'm trying here. Because every time I try and do it, I'm obviously letting my guard down and getting hit. Yeah, nice try, bud. Might not have counters yet, but we have that. What difficulty is this? I don't know. I don't know if it's hard, very hard, or master. Because the hurricane pack thing doesn't let you pick the difficulty. It just is a difficulty. It's definitely not normal. Those are not the regular ninjas. Those are like the better ones. So... This could be hard, it could be very hard, I honestly don't know. If anybody knows anything about the Hurricane Pack, maybe you can tell me what the difficulty is. Although I'm sure eventually somebody will show up in the chat, who knows. Because <laughs> you guys know more than I do. Ah! We got a bunch of people showing up, though. We got Dio's, Dio's in there. Toa, Kopaka. Prince Vinny, 007, says, Do you like Sigma or do you like NG Black? I like them both. I like them both. If I want the extra content, I play Sigma. If I want just a little bit better combat, I'll play Black. We got Koa Vo in there as well. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, get a little bit of slowdown there. I just think it's really cool that XMU is really starting to uh, work with a lot of these games. And we're able to play Ninja Gaiden 1, Ninja Gaiden Black. Uh, I did. It did lag really bad in Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate, especially in a level where there was water that had reflections in it. The, the frame rate just tanked, even at 1x resolution. Get that freaking intercept in there, man. See, because I'm not very good with it right now, I would say the intercept is not as broken as it, it's made out to be because you have to blo you have to do the block at the exact moment. It's it's very unforgiving, but maybe that's just because I haven't figured out the knack to it yet. Pick it up, Ryu. Pick it up! There you go. Gosh, look at these guys. They're upset with me being here. Ha <laughs> man. Gosh, this is a game from 2004. <laughs> I know this is the DLC that improves it a bit, but gosh, man. I love how this combat holds up 20 years later. Ooh, I want it! Pick it up, pick it up! Ryu, please, pick it up. Get out of my way, you stupid ninja. Please, Ryu, pick up the... Th mm. There you go, finally. P freaking get it out, I want to use it. Oh, and you start with the nunchucks. How about that? Get out of there. 
Well, they're just gonna kill me, aren't they? I want the blue! Thank you! So there, that's the intercept. It's, uh, you have to block, so I'm holding down block and then releasing it and tapping it, and it's getting me hit. But, you, if you block at the perfect time, it interrupts the enemy, and you can do whatever you want. And if you interrupt and immediately press Y, he will instantly absorb essence and do a UT. Like, it can be amazing. I'm just really bad at it. Because I, you know, pretty much only just got access to it yesterday. When I configured all this to get it working. We're going to skip this fight in here and save it, so then when I die, <laughs> we don't have to go all the way back to the start. Oh, no! <laughs> you got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> they hit me with the freaking shuriken. I should have ran for the save point. I should have tried to talk to it before the explosion. Oh, man. Now i got to do it again. They're making fun of me there, is what they're doing. They're making fun of me. It's fine, though. I can just run straight to the save point. That's, uh... <laughs> That's so stupid. That would happen to me, though, wouldn't it? That would happen to me. The... M M what does that say, that? The Milkman <laughs> says, Hey Dan, I'm at work right now. Can't stay to watch, but drop by to say hi. I'm a big fan. Been watching you for years. Happy to see you stream it again. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day anyway. And if you feel like it, you can always catch this stream later. I'll leave the video up there. Alright, let's do this again. Besides, we're practicing right now. I'm gonna get better with this intercept. I'm sure there's a knack to it, and once I figure out what that is... Then, we're golden. Because I honestly don't know the trick to it yet. I don't know the... You know, the pro way of using it. Because I'm not perfect at blocking. I won't always block at the exact moment I'm supposed to. CJ Falcon says, question, are you doing a fun run for this game? No, no. May I mean, I don't I won't say never, but probably not. The next fun run on my mind is to do Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 Black if I can get my hands on the Ninja Gaiden 3 outfit. But you know, getting a straight answer on where to get it is uh it's proving difficult. Yeah, see, I love it. See, I intercepted him there, and then immediately pressed Y, so he charged the UT. Freaking awesome. Look at this. No, it's not gonna work, because they're not coming. Excuse me. And we got a blue, so we got a double. Come get it, buddy! Come get it! Ryu, don't attack the thing! What are you doing?! See, back in 2004 when this came out, I was really impressed with the these reflections in the floor. Now, if you know how it's done, it's clever. It's I'm pretty sure this is what they do here. There are no reflections. 
This floor is just transparent. And these reflections are actually just duplicated geometry that's underneath the floor. It's just the room copied and then flipped upside down. Hence why you don't see Ryu in the floor. You see his shadow is on the floor, but you don't see his reflection in the floor. At least I, I, and so this door is actually not just, this door is like super long, and so when you open it, you're actually opening the door that's under the floor as well. It's all one thing. That's what I think it is, anyway. Really clever, the way they used to make stuff look good back in the day. Because, like, it really, it's a really clever effect. Yeah, that intercept, man. It's nice to have it when you don't have counters. See what I mean? It's so cool, man. Yeah, so on that. It would be really fascinating. CJ Falcon says, I think this game would be better if you could cut off the arms and legs. This game would be really fascinating with the obliteration system from Ninja Gaiden 2. I'd love to see what that looks like. Who knows, if this had been released on PC back when it originally, you know, came out in 2004, it'd be really interesting to see the mods that it might have had by now, you know, some 20 years later. What are you, don't go through the door, what are you doing? Go back in there! Can't check it out now? Yeah. Excuse me! Darn it, I got the intercept there, and I... I'm not expecting it, so I messed that up. I was being really greedy there, going for that UT. Yeah, see? Managed to get a UT with that intercept there. Darn it. Yeah, I, I pressed that way too soon. Yeah! We did intercept! That's just so cool when you get it! Oh wow, I killed him with the shurikens! <laughs> I mean, it's cool, they give you the lunar at the start. And you, like I said earlier, you start with the nunchucks, too. Screw it. We're gonna keep the dragon sword out, just in case Ryu's movement changes when you have the staff. You know, especially when you're, like, slashing these, uh, wall scrolls. Because I want to get to that save point, and then we'll come back in the room and fight the guys, get a little practice in. Whoa, we managed to dodge it this time! And there we go, now I can save it. There we go. See, it says Master Ninja Tournament, because that's the... That's how it loads the DLC, I guess. It's not conventional. You don't just install the Hurricane Pack, and then when you select New Game, you get all the camera controls and stuff. You have to go into Master Ninja Tournament and access the... the second one in order to do this. Okay, now that we've saved it, we can go in there and get... get our ass kicked by these guys. Gosh, and these these guys here are not to be trifled with, by the way. These are like the freaking spider ninja. They just they just look like the generic ones, but they're like a slight green tint. I need that blue, or I'm gonna be dead. Pick it up. Thank you.
Darn it. I, re I went for the intercept there. No, I let him kill me there. Again, I tried to go for it again. Like... Gosh, I wish I knew what the trick to it was. Because, you know, JB... JTB123 said that the intercept was, like, broken. It was so good. And it's like... You know, sure, when, you, when you're as good as that guy is, it is, but... There's gotta be a trick to it. I wanna know what the trick is to doing the intercept and abusing it. I wanna have some fun with it. Alright, let's try fighting these guys again. No, they he does, does the freaking grabs! Oh, yes, we did the intercept with a double charge. Oh, you missed it. No, he snuck in there with a hit. Eventually, I will acclimate to playing the first game again. My mind is still, you know, in the more aggressive mindset. Like Ninja Gaiden 2 style. Oh, that's that incendiary shirkin' is nuts! Yeah. They're still gonna kill me, though. I can feel it. Yeah, he did it. He jumped at me from off the... Yeah, off camera there. CJ Falcon says, what is harder, one or two? It's It depends on how you approach it. Two can be harder because it's more unhinged, more chaotic, which can be difficult to control. Whereas if you know all the tactics, one, you could master one, if you know exactly what you're doing. But uh, I would say first impressions would show that Ninja Gaiden 1 is harder. There's a lot of forgiving things in Ninja Gaiden 2 that you can abuse to get out of trouble. But in this game, it's it can be pretty brutal. Like, these guys are kicking my butt! But, you know, once I get back into the swing, I'm sure I'll get better. It's also, you know, I... I, I like to use the stuff Ryu has at his disposal later. I like to counter... I like to, you know, use the level 3 stuff. Oh man, not only did I waste that blue, but he they just avoided him. And that guy survived a freaking UT. He's still getting up. No. Yeah, I let go of the block right there. <laughs> Pizza Chew says, When are we getting that The Bouncer playthrough? <laughs> that would be a short playthrough, actually. It's only like a two-hour game. Like, it's, it's like a... Well, a bit more than that. It's a movie game, basically. Especially if I played through it with everything unlocked, where all three characters are at S rank. Gosh, it takes three of those to kill that guy. Can you imagine if I was a master of the freaking intercept, man? I'd be a destroying these guys every time they try to hit me. He, yeah, look, gosh, he really wants to spam those grabs, doesn't he? 
You get the freaking UT. I am so dead. Yeah. Especially at the start of the game. This game is really punishing. But again, I don't know what difficulty this is. I wouldn't be surprised if this is at least very hard. Again, it's it's the Hurricane Pack 2. And it's definitely throwing the harder ninjas at you. Look, I blocked his move with the thing there. Don't fall down the thing, Ryu! But you know, I'd really prefer to have used that freaking UT against the guy. This guy. Gosh, piss off. I need to kill this stupid green... ...ninja. We got some more guys? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't take too many of those to get rid of them. Any more? No? Thanks for the blue, bud. Okay. See, I gotta get into the swing of things here. And I've, I've never said I was good at Ninja Gaiden 1. Like, and if I did, I was wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. I've, this is the game that I'm worst at. Because I didn't play it a whole lot before I moved on to 2. And then I played Sigma, which is probably easier than this, but in different ways. I'm sure it has other things that make it a bit more difficult. Oh no, please don't be bomb bats! Oh my gosh, it's lagging so bad! Yeah, gosh, that was laggy, man. Yeah, this camera is beautiful. Just keep it behind the frickin' railing, why don't you? There we go. Cade Exavius says the hurricane pack is harder than quote unquote very hard. Is that right? Would you say that this is Master Ninja then? And uh, what does that say? Chiku Gensai says this is brutal. Yeah, I wish I was better at this, you know give you a better show but you know this game's tough I'm gonna if these guys come out again I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save it first then we'll go back in and face them I won't just dodge these guys I know they can they infinitely spawn every time you come in here they spawn but we're gonna fight them again no oh, please oh you stupid we don't need to fight that stupid bat again. It doesn't matter. It's just a bat. You know, it's interesting, though, playing this game in HD, you can really see the... You know, the... The details of the stuff that was there, like... And the low-res textures, of course, but you can see the photos, the, the sort of cardboard backgrounds and the skybox. <coughs> cool lens flare effect there, though. Again, I mean, you know, when you were playing this on a CRT or, you know, an LCD at o original resolution, 
native resolution, like this would have looked fantastic. And I remember it did. This was a, it was a good looking game for 2004. Cade Xavius says, yes, this is what the devs confirmed back in the day. It's literally Master Ninja. <laughs> oh my goodness. What have I got myself into? He tried to do it there. I need that blue. Give it to me. Give me the blue! I need the blue! I need it! No! Oh my gosh, get back in the game. Yeah, that's right! Get in with it! Yes! He's not dead! I really switched to the other guy because I thought he was going to die. I think they're both dead there. You're getting an extra kicking, is what you're getting. Freaking those ninjas, man. That's basically the... The incendiary ninjas, isn't it? They just don't look... They, they really... It's actually worse in this because they have a... They have that... Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 look in black, don't they? They gave them the different appearance with the, like... It's very similar to the spider ninjas from Ninja Gaiden 2, but in this, they just look like your run-of-the-mill brown-garbed ninjas, uh, except it's, like, tinted slightly green. When I saw those guys, I was like, oh, there's the normal guys, but they're not the normal guys. They're freaking sleepers in this game, man. They want to go for those grabs. Throw those incendiary shurikens. So theoretically, I should be able to use the intercept against Mirai. Or try to, and get my... butt handed to me. Yeah, nice try, bud. You got your little dodge in there, but it wasn't enough. Strife Fair says, hey Dan, hey, what's going on, man? Hope you're having a good day. You know what? I've killed those. I'm gonna do what I did in Ninja Gaiden 1 on the harder. This is freaking Master Ninja. I'm gonna go and save it because I killed the two guys on the... the path, the bridge, whatever that is. Hopefully that means when I get killed in this next room, they don't respawn. Here we go. I bet it's all the incendiary ninjas now, right? Yeah. Yeah, look, I did the intercept there. Ryu, throw the shurikens at the guys below you! Oh! He... He came from up there! <laughs> mm, sneaky. Let's see. Did me saving stop these guys from spawning again? Or are they still gonna be there? No, that was a good call. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to get the UT! How did you not even hit the other guy with that? See, you can spam this move to get you out of dodge. Oh, I landed in that! I should have done the friggin' intercept! I swear, if I play this enough, I'll get good at the intercept. If I don't die immediately. Yeah, just freaking just, just 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 take a nap, Ryu. Just take a nap. God, 
gosh, I do wish I was better at Ninja Gaiden 1. I really do. Gotta practice. If I could just practice against this guy with, like, um, you know, no damage so that I could just get hit, fall down, and keep getting back up, I would eventually learn their... At where to telegraph their moves, and I could easily intercept them, but, you know, I'm... <laughs> kind of going in, like... Recklessly, let's say. I have no idea. I don't... I'm not very good at telegraphing these guys at all. Yeah, they love the freaking grabs that do, like, half your health, too. This is the way to finish them. Yeah, just break that, why don't you? Can I? I can't do the guillotine throw yet, can I? Give me the blue! I need it! <laughs> threw a shuriken at him. Oh, he gave me blue. Ryu, you missed the stab that, that can get you killed. Stab him! Please stab him. There you go, that's it. See, if I have one at a time, these guys are nothing. I can get them. There we go. Did it open both doors? It did! I'm gonna go save it! Because then when, uh, Mirai kills me... Oh, no! Is he gonna have a couple of ninjas with him? This is Master Ninja, right? So... He might have backup. Which is just, you know, kind of, I mean, let's be fair. Kind of a cowardly thing to do, right? Ryu doesn't have backup. What are you doing backup, Mirai, huh? You better not. Although he's the bad guy, so of course he's a coward. He, he, he can't... He's not good enough without the Dark Dragon Blade, which is why he wants it. Let's see, is it just Mirai? I see you have made it this far. Oh, I can't skip this, because it's, you know... That's fine. Go ahead and flail those nunchucks. Lord Vectra says, I didn't expect to see you streaming again. I watched your Ninja Gaiden 2 playlist like three times. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, I did the intercept then, but I, I didn't know he was going to get it. Oh, and then he goes for the grab, because he's a freaking you friggin joke. Huh? I can't grab you. He went for another grab. He's going for the grabs. What are you doing, Mirai, you freaking... Oh, no. I'm dead from that. Yeah. Aw. Oh. I don't want to just do the, like, kick off the wall cheese thing, like I'm... I'm trying to fight him more legitimately, but... If it... If I take too long, I'll just cheese him. Or, you know, do a bit more of a cheesy way of beating him instead of trying to take him head on. Because I do have fun trying to... just trying things out, you know? Because again, I'm not an expert at Ninja Gaiden 1, so... You're not going to get the most competent gameplay with me, do I? Okay, good, we get to skip that this time. If I charge this, does he throw something at me? No, look, look. He'll block it, though. You watch. And then he grabbed me. Ryu, I wanted you to do the thing. Do this. I'm going to try and... I'm going to learn to intercept this guy. Let's see. Come at me. Ryu, you got to do the intercept. No, he's dead. He, that's... <laughs> we'll do that. If I can do the intercept, I should be able to do the UT thing and have Ryu dash through him. It won't be a charge, but it'll be, you know, a dash that might do some damage. I'd love to use cheats on this. Get level 3 everything, chapter 1. That'd be great. 
That might actually be viable for a fun run, although... I was hoping to do a fun run... When I was thinking of doing a fun run of this with the intercept ability, I was kind of hoping to just be able to do it on normal mode so that I could practice it. But the fact that this is Master Ninja, <laughs> I'm just gonna get beat up. Here we go, let's try again. Wait a sec, we have the Lunar! Do I want to have fun with that? Maybe once. Let's see what happens. Oh, just give me a slap, why don't... Oh my gosh! It's amazing! It's amazing! Look at this! It was when I had that loop going. Get that loop going again. Alright, what are you doing? We're almost done, Mariah. Come on. Get the loop. Maybe I could do the stab. That was fun. Yeah, look at that. Gosh, that staff is pretty good, man. You just, when he does the dash after you've rolled. He kept- if I had done that properly, I could have kept that loop going and just finished him with it. That was pretty good. Ah, the dragon sword. So your father is still in the sacred- Chiku Gensai says, I remember when you did some acting, like a fan dub of this scene. Uh, awesome, by the way. Yeah, thanks! Appreciate that. I did that a long time ago. Just for fun, you know? Someday you will come to understand the pursuit of power. Had a friend of mine voice Mirai. I'm sure if I went and watched it again, I wouldn't like it anymore, because I'd be like, Ah, oh, I could have done a better job. <laughs> it remains in the village under the protection of my father's clan. They will ensure that the sword remains untouched. It's dark power sealed. Do you know, I could use AI, and I could take Justin Gross's voice, whether it be the clips from this game, or maybe include some other games that he's done with a similar voice to flesh out the training data set. I could train his voice, and then do reuse lines from Ninja Gaiden 2, and put Justin Gross, circa 2004, in Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh hey, look, the Hurricane Pack's got the modded Ayane face, I think. That's the- is that the improved face? I'm not sure. I think it might be. I remember her face looking really bad in the OG Ninja Gaiden. And that looks like the improved version from Black. I guess the Hurricane Pack had it in there, too. That's cool. What do we get, Ninja Garbage? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was right! Ninja Dog! But I fought the guys! I beat the guys, I went in that room and killed those guys twice! Gosh... That's really bad! That's the game, that's the game telling me... I wonder if that's based on your karma score. Whatever, that was apparently very bad. <laughs> oh well, maybe we'll get better in the future. Maybe it, maybe it counts the deaths and stuff, I don't know. Let me get... Oh yeah, okay. I don't suppose you want to give me something nice, Mirai, huh? No? You don't? Huh? Can I just... Can I interest you in one of these? Yeah, no, okay. Dark Promethean says, Getting Master Ninja on all chapters on Master Ninja difficulty was a nightmare. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if... I might have done that in Ninja Gaiden 2 at some point, but... Very unlikely that I ever did it in Sigma or Ninja Gaiden 1 or Black. I just... I've never been particularly good at the first Ninja Gaiden. I know that I definitely did on Sigma 2 because I did it on Sigma 2 and then when I played Sigma 2 Plus in Chapter Challenge, I made sure to get Master Ninja on everything back when I was really playing it. Especially on the Vita version, which was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I hated Momiji's chapter on Sigma 2 Plus. Couldn't stand it. Especially because you had to beat that... You had, Getting to the first save point was a nightmare if you didn't know what you were doing. 
Hmm. Uh. I'm thinking in terms of the future here. I'm gonna save it on slot two. Why? Just in case something happens to the Insignia Xbox Live thing and I'm no longer able to connect to it and go into Master Ninja Tournament to select this, at least I'll have a save file here that I can access. At least I hope it works in the future anyway. I'll have to test it out by switching off the network connection on the emulator and seeing if I can still load that save. Because obviously you have to download save data and then sign it to your emulator's hard drive code in order to load that one. But now you don't have to do that if you set up Insignia. You can use your own Insignia fake Xbox Live account thing. Now, I wonder if I can move the camera in this room to see... Let me look up at the ceiling real quick. So the ceiling looks like that. Can you see the ceiling in the floor? You can! So it's the entire room duplicated. Seriously, I hope that's what they've done. That is literally just the room flipped upside down, and this wooden floor is just transparent. Giving the illusion of a reflection. Freaking genius, man. Although I don't think it's completely trans- Oh my goodness. Fight some guys- You fight some guys in here! I'm trying really hard to- Oh no, Ryu, don't go through the door! Go back in here and fight these guys! I wanna fight these guys! They're gonna kill me, I know it. I can sense it. In fact, let's not use the Lunar just yet. I'm not very good. Let's go back to this. Oh no, yeah, what did I say, man? They're gonna kill me. I predicted it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why People keep asking me, they've asked me a lot over the years, why did I take down the Conker's Bad Fur Day Let's Play? It's because I kept getting copyright claims on the music. Like, I remember there, there was a week s straight, every day I got an email with a copyright claim of some music in the background. I'd had enough of it. I didn't want it, like, getting my channel killed because of all the music. Uh, I recently looked to see if I could go and make it public again, because I privated that. And I guess at some point I went in there and deleted them, because they're not there anymore, and... If I re-upload them, who's to say it's not going to hit me with the same garbage? Although, I wouldn't re-upload them separately anymore. I'd probably re-upload them as one... Why am I going this way? Ryu, what are you doing? Dan, what are you doing? This is chapter two now. It was a claim. It wasn't a strike, though. It was a claim, but I kept getting them over and over and over, and I just... Eventually, I just threw my hands in the air and said, All right, that's it. I'm done. Oh my gosh, I thought they locked this in Chapter 2. Maybe that was in black. My other problem is, if I just re-upload them, my mentality is they're old and... You know, uh, I'd rather do it again, but I don't want to do it again. Um, you know, even though it was over a decade ago, I don't really have a interest in replaying it, you know? Oh, the, the throws, man. The stupid throws. They're just going to keep spamming the throws, man. No, they're gonna... Yeah. I need to stop experimenting trying to do the... the intercept, and I just need to use the dragon sword and just do what I've been doing. Azir Mobius says, Your content is like wine. It seems to improve with age. <laughs> yeah, that's because I stop trying to take it so seriously with the commentary. Trying to be cool. I tried to be cool in the beginning, and that was... well... cringe. And it's, you know, I'm just... I'm just having fun with it nowadays, you know? It, that that started around... Just... 
around the Conker's Bad Fur Day was when I started to do that, but it wasn't really until the Master Ninja 14 video where I really just decided, just go in, just full fun, full ridiculousness. Alright, pause it, get this out. Yeah, I got the intercept in there. And got grabbed! I love it! Wish I could figure out how to block their grabs with the intercept. That would be wonderful. For you, please! Oh, I wish I didn't suck at this. I just wanna- I want the dual swords, man. I just wanna spin. I'd love so- I'd love to be able to mod the dual swords into one. Cause I mean, I assume that Sigma is an iteration of Ninja Gaiden Black. Like, I don't assume that it's some ground up, brand new build. I assume it's just Ninja Gaiden Black with a coat of paint shoehorned into maybe another engine. I don't know. I assume the DNA is still underneath. So, theoretically, you could backport the Sigma stuff into this? Maybe? I'd love to know if it's possible. If you could put the dual swords in this game. Even if you just duplicated the Dragon Sword model, so he's holding two of them shoehorn the code in for the dual swords like I'd love to see if it was possible to see how this game treats the dual swords or if it just crashes the game oh they love their freaking spammy grabs don't they The blue! No! The blue! Give me another blue! Ah! Darn it! That was fun though! The, the staff worked out! Just had to focus. <laughs> it went real quiet there. <laughs> oh, we got something more in here. Oh, just more. Oh, maybe I forgot to open it uh, when I died or something. I bet there's guys out here. No? Okay. Strife Fair says, I was wondering where the intro video went because I wanted to show it to my girlfriend because it was just the one clip in particular that always made me laugh. The intro? The intro video? Do you mean the, uh, where I turn on the console and plug in all the stuff and then sit down and say, bam, as I turn on the TV? I used to put that in my videos uh, back in the day, I think. I, that's, I put it in the Ninja Gaiden 2 fun run. The, the 4K version I did in 2019. As a throwback, I filmed a whole new one. But I was trying, I don't know, it wasn't like a... It wasn't a rebrand, it was like a refreshing of the design of the logos and stuff. And I was just trying to make it simpler, faster. Which is why I, you know, changed it to something else. But, you know, I included it for nostalgia's sake in the 2019 fun run. You know, made the whole new one. Oh, unless you mean the the channel intro, where I said you like games, right? And then I, uh, gosh, that that was really old, though, wasn't it? I, I'm pretty sure I used a genuinely awful camera to do that. 
Like, it might have even been in black and white. Like, I used a freaking camcorder from the early 2000s <laughs> to film that. Uh, and I just made it black and white to cover up how bad it was. <laughs> Like, I put in a montage of some of my favorite moments from all the videos. I... I think I deleted that. I think I deleted it because I might have caught wind of it later. Like, it, it popped up and I watched it, and then I was like, Yeah, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's why. I probably saw it, didn't like it, and got rid of it. Oh my gosh, the, uh, the intercept is so cool when you do it. Thanks for the blue, bud. I need it, because I suck. Dan, there's a treasure chest behind the wall. Get it. Go back and get it. Behind the wall? What wall? What did, I, what did I miss? Oh, yeah! Thanks for letting me know! Do you know I never knew this was here? 20 years later, you're still showing me stuff. Hey, how about that? Well, thanks. I really appreciate that. You, you, the more you know. Pixels says, I love your five hours fun run video. I watched it 10,000 times. <laughs> The five-hour fun run. Which one was that? Was that Ninja Gaiden Black? Because Ninja Gaiden 2, I think, was like six and a half hours. The Razor's Edge... I don't remember how long the Razor's Edge one was. And the downside to those, I think, was they were all 30 FPS, because that was before YouTube did 60 frames, and so I rendered them to 30. I kept thinking about... I wish there was a way to... Do you know what YouTube should do as a freaking service? offer AI frame doubling to get 60. Like, you can frame double stuff with, uh, you know, FSR 3 and, and DLSS 3 or whatever, and you can use AI to double frame rates. I've got a program called... Oh, I've forgotten what it's called, actually. Um, oh, I can't remember now. But it's on Steam, anyway, and it's got an icon of a yellow rubber duck and it lets you upscale and frame double you can use it to implement fsr i think it's just implementing fsr3 but i could be wrong but the downside is you games are still playable when you use it to double frames especially from 30 to 60 but it does create input delay and sometimes i just opt to not have the delay and play it at 30 instead especially on my gpd win 4 which you know would be more of a reason to use it because a lot of stuff, you know, it's not a powerhouse, it's a handheld, so it's not going to chew through the frame rates like a proper desktop PC. I don't remember if we had the, uh, gosh, I don't need lag, I don't need lag! I don't remember if we had the, uh... Sorcerer guy at this early on in uh, in black. The staff's pretty good, isn't it? I gotta get better with the intercept. I really do. Oh, that's right. You don't climb ladders. You watch him climb them. Chi uh, Chiku Gensai says, I watched your Razor's Edge playthroughs. That graveyard's been saved my life and broke my controller eventually. <laughs> Freaking analog stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. The graveyard spin. I don't have any desire to ever do that again. <laughs> that was such a pain to do that and just spam the graveyard spin for half the game. Dennis PC Gaming says, Lossless Scaling. Yes, that's what it was called. 
Really neat little program. I like it. Especially since I tried to use the AMD control panel thing to use FSR 3 in other games. And I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. Like, I updated it, I looked in there, it wasn't in the list anyway for the stuff I wanted to use it with. So, that's where lossless scaling comes in. You can just use it with anything. You want to watch YouTube videos that are only at 30 FPS and 60 FPS? You can do it with lossless scaling. Any window, it will double the frame rate for you. It's, it's awesome. And it's only like five bucks. I recommend it. It's on Steam. Let's drop down here. Oh my gosh, the lag. Oh, that's a shame. The water does not look good in the emulator. <laughs> it looks like we're in the freaking Matrix or something. Look at this water. It looks terrible. That is such a shame. I wonder if that's just what the water looks like when it's upscaled. I really hope not. I hope it's just bugged out. Because it looks really good on the OG Xbox. Well, let's see. Let me set the resolution to 1x. Yeah, no, that's definitely bugged out. That is nothing to do with uh, HD graphics. That is just bugged. Wait a second. We want to go over there, don't we? What do you got for me? Oh, one of these. Thanks. Can't remember, in the hurricane pack, is there anything behind that waterfall to the left over there? It's such a shame, because I just remember the water being really good, and the emulator is clearly having trouble with it there. Hopefully that gets fixed in the future. Oh my gosh, it's lagging! Emulation of this is not perfect. Like, there's... You should be able to run this game at like 5, 6, 7x resolution without issue. But, you know, the emulation of the OG Xbox is pretty heavy. Especially, eh, you know, I'm streaming at the same time, because I'm not using a separate computer to stream this. Chiku Gensai says, I showed you how to pronounce Dobby Laro. The big sword Ryu used, yeah. It was Dobby Laro, right? What did I used to call it? The Delabrio? <laughs> I think I used to call it the Delabrio or something stupid. Even though that's not how it's written, you know, but my brain's dumb. Uh, B-Man2K4 says, what are your computer specs? Um, my computer was pretty high-end, like, seven years ago. Or six years ago. Uh, in 2018. It's a, it's a 8700K with 32 gigs of DDR4. And... GTX 1080 Ti. I haven't updated it. I was going to update it last year. I was going to build a new PC, but I decided not to, and instead I bought myself a GPD Win 4, like the handheld. I figured, this computer's doing okay. It's it's not really having too many problems. It's it's going just fine, so... But I'm, I'm tempted to make s some, like, involved content with the AI video generation stuff like Sora when that comes out. If I can, you know, when the open source versions come out that you can run on your own system. If it has a version of ControlNet where you can feed it videos and stuff to convert into something else, if I could film myself and then replace myself with a character, I could make a whole bunch of stories. I like, I like telling stories and I'd love to be able to make short films or movies with AI if I could film myself doing things and make props and then replace the garbage footage with, the, you know, with other characters and stuff, that would be amazing. And if I need a new graphics card to do that, I might build a new PC to do it. Because I find the whole AI image and video generation thing fascinating and I'd love to play with it and see what it can do. It's an, it's an incredible tool. Do a UT on this guy here. Ryu, come on. 
I like the lunar. Oh, that's- I, I remember in Ninja Gaiden Black, this is where you get the lunar, isn't it? It's in a pot before you go in this, uh... In this building up here. Like, it's right here in a vase. <laughs> Although, I'm actually getting pretty hungry, so I'm probably gonna eat something soon. So, I'm probably gonna... Look around this area here just to see if there's any items that I've missed, and then I will save it, and I will end the stream here, but I might do another one later. We'll see how I'm feeling, like, depends. Sometimes I sit down and I think to myself, you know what? I'm beat, I don't want to do it, but... We'll see. Oh, you got something for me? Nope. I don't think there's anything over here. All right, I'll go through this. Is there anything in here? No. You don't get the scarabs yet. I'm curious about something. I'm sure you can't. I'm sure you need one of the heavy weapons, but I'm just... I'd love to smash this. Smash it in slow motion, Ryu! <laughs> no, okay. It would be interesting if you... I never tested that. You know I had the save file on Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ages ago, I did it in a stream years ago where I had all the weapons in Chapter 1. I wonder if you can get to this point here with the, you know, cheat added weapons and smash that thing in Chapter 2. That'd be interesting. Hopefully I can leave this room after I go in here. I'm pretty sure you can. Wait a minute. Where's the cutscene with Ayane? It's not here! That's weird! She's supposed to give you the bow. I guess you just get it outside or... Whatever, let's take, let's take a look. No? He's got the bow, right? No? I guess you get it out there. That's interesting. Do you already just... Do you just have it? No, you don't. Okay. Let's talk to Muramasa. I don't suppose you got an upgrade for me, do you? Koavo says, Dan, have you ever made money from YouTube? Yeah, I did. When I first had my channel, it was monetized, and I, I was part I was with some partner, you know, back when you had to partner the channel. And they gave it was nothing though. I didn't get the views to make much money. And we're, it was like ten bucks, five bucks, if that. It was nothing. Uh so not really. I have a watch channel where I do watch builds and stuff and I have uh, I do collaborations with uh, a site that sells parts and they send me stuff and then I do a build I make a video about it and I have affiliate links and so if people buy stuff from those links I get something and that makes that, that's okay that's pretty good but that's you know n from ad revenue on like YouTube no none of my YouTube channels are monetized none of them can't upgrade. Oh, you can upgrade the lunar. Except I. No, you can't. Darn it. Yeah, you got nothing for me in this chapter, do you? He's got all this. Holy smokes! It's twenty thousand. <gasps> He's got the counterattacks. He has it right there. You don't even have to wait till the end of the chapter. Mm, I wish I, there was like a place I could go where the guys just keep spawning, and then I could. Spam and fight them and get the essence. Ah, I want these two. I want both of them. You get the freaking. You get all three of these right now. Wow, Muramasa, you just had to be a bitch, didn't you? And, and charge an obscene amount. I wonder if I could use cheat engine or something on the emulator, just to give myself more essence. Oh well, we're gonna go back and save it. I'm gonna end the stream for now, but like I said, I might do another one later, after I've had something to eat. Depends on what's going on, because I might just want to wind down for the evening, just relax, but... Yeah. I gotta say, like... Again, like, this was a good-looking game for 2004. Some good set dressing here. But the combat is what has aged so well. Like, it's really good. Alright. 
Alright, so that's gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed this little stream, me just playing some Ninja Gaiden 1, the Hurricane Pack. Hopefully I'll get better at it, and hopefully I'll get better at using the Intercept technique, because that's awesome. It's really cool to have the opportunity to play with that. But, yeah, that's gonna do it, so... Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time.